friends, welcome to Kids Church this week. This week we are celebrating Pentecost. That's a fun word, but Pentecost is basically the birthday of the church. It's the story that we lift up and we remember about how Jesus' followers were inspired to create communities that would follow Jesus' teachings. And they were inspired by the Holy Spirit. So we're going to explore all kinds of things about the Holy Spirit this week. But before we get into it, our special shout out this week goes to Jack and to Henley. Thanks for joining us. So the story of Pentecost goes like this. After Jesus had gone, Jesus' friends were still trying to muddle their way through what they were going to do next. And about 50 days after the Passover, which was the last supper that they had shared with Jesus, came the celebration of Pentecost. This was a Jewish celebration that happened 50 days after Passover. And while they were gathered to recognize Pentecost, they felt this rushing wind enter the room. And it was like flames that landed on their heads and filled them with warmth and heat. And they suddenly realized that they could understand whatever people were saying around them. And so they believed and they shared that they were filled and touched by the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit that touched them with wind and fire and language and opened their ears to hear and understand, that Holy Spirit inspired them to continue the work of Jesus' ministry, regardless of the challenges that they were going to face. It re-inspired and it brought communities together who then formed the church. And today, 2,000 years later, we continue to gather around that inspiration and to follow Jesus' teachings. So, what is the Holy Spirit? Well, in this story, the Holy Spirit is experienced like fire and like wind and like understanding and hearing and languages. But I want to show you another way of understanding the Holy Spirit. And it involves some popcorn. So I want you to imagine the disciples and the followers of Jesus were kind of like these corn kernels. You know what? They're a little bit dried out. You wouldn't want to eat them like that. That's kind of what they were like. They would had a rough time. They were a little bit dried out. And then the Holy Spirit came along and it filled them with a new type of energy. So I'm going to take these popcorn kernels and I'm going to bring them over to my popcorn maker. So we're going to add our kernels into our popcorn maker. And I'm going to add a few more. Because there were lots of people who were affected by the Holy Spirit that day. Because as people began to see what happened to the disciples, that energy spread beyond just the disciples. And lots of people were affected. satisfying about watching popcorn pop, isn't there? Well, these are the kernels that we had, those dry kernels that would have broke our teeth if we tried to eat them. And now they're fluffy and light. So we couldn't see the energy that transformed those kernels. You couldn't see the heat. There was no flames. There was nothing magical and visual that we could see. But what we can see is the change that happens in the kernel when that energy is added. And that's kind of like the Holy Spirit. We can't see the Holy Spirit around us. We can't hold it or touch it or even draw it. But we can see how the Holy Spirit changes us from the very inside of us, how it can inspire us how it can move us, how it can invite us to be better people, better friends. 
So that's what happened that day. That day a long time ago that we call the birth of the church. People were inspired by the Holy Spirit. And through that inspiration, they changed. And the people around them saw that they changed. And in trying to understand what brought about such incredible changes in these people, they shared the story of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit had touched them and moved them and changed them and brought them from those dry, sad, lost people to a people who could inspire and who were motivated and who created a movement that became worldwide to follow the teachings of Jesus. And you and I are still part of that movement. So we saw with our popcorn how the invisible energy of heat can transform a popcorn kernel into a piece of popcorn that's nice and light and fluffy. And in keeping with our theme and our story, the story was that there was flames, but there was also wind. So our craft today, we're going to use wind to transform and play. For this, I have a template with some flame shapes on it, and I'm going to leave the link so you can go and you can print this off yourself if you didn't get your own printed copy from our take home bin. And I've put this on cardstock, which is a little bit stiffer, but you can try it on regular paper. And if you can't print, really, it's just a little bit of a flame and you can draw your own on a piece of paper and cut it out. So this is what we need. We will also need a straw and a very small piece of scrap paper. That's it. And then we will add our own energy to create some fun and to make our flames dance. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to color in two of these flames. I think I only need two. You can do all of them if you like, or you can do one, but I'm going to start with two. There we go. I've got two of them colored in. And if you wonder why it is I colored them before cutting, because I didn't color inside the lines very well. But that's okay because when I cut it out, I'll cut it out better than I colored. So let's get to cutting out our two flames. Here we go. There's my two flames. But now we have to get to the work of turning these flames into flying flames. So if I drop them, they kind of just fall. So I want to turn these into flying flames that will go a little bit further. For that, I need my straw and my piece of paper. And what I'm going to do with my piece of paper is I'm going to wrap it around the straw very loosely because I want to create a tube out of this piece of paper that my straw will fit into easily, like so. So you can see my straw goes in and out of that fairly easily. So that's all that I need. I'm going to cut off the extra paper. On my tube and then I'm going to tape this tube shut. Okay let's just test it out one more time make sure the straw still fits. It does. Now I need to pinch one end of my tube closed Fold it down and I'm going to tape that in place too. So here's our little tube. The tube is open on one side, it's shut on the other. Let's test one more time. The straw still fits in there, that's good, but it can't go out the other end anymore. And now I'm going to tape this tube to the back of my flame. Just like that. There we go. I have a flame with the tube attached to the back and the straw in it and it comes off and on fairly easily. And now let's go see if we can find a place to play with our flying flame. I wonder, have you figured out how we're going to add energy to our flame to make it fly? I'm sure you have. 
Let's go figure this out and have some fun. playing with your flying flames as well. And I hope that your flying flames can remind you of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that is all around us, but that we can't see, we can't hold on to, we can't even draw, but we can see the things that it does. Just in the way that our energy through our breath made our flames fly, just as the way that the heat energy in the popcorn maker made those popcorn kernels pop, the Holy Spirit is around and in and surrounding and enveloping and embracing this whole universe, this whole of creation. And if we open our hearts to that Holy Spirit, we too will be inspired inspired to grow and to change and to love and to help, to be kind and to make differences in the world. But we have to open our hearts and allow that energy to make a difference. So this week, let us work on opening our hearts to allowing that Holy Spirit to change us, to change us into the people that God has such great dreams for. My friends, as you go on your journey, hand in hand with the Holy Spirit and with God along the way, may there be love in your heart to give. May there be joy in your heart to share. And may there be strength in your heart to lift others up. See ya.